Days after the Special Zones of Operations Bill was passed in the lower house, Prime Minister Andrew Holness has indicated that faith-based organizations such as churches will assist in its implementation. He made the disclosure at the recent Stella Maris fundraising banquet. Details in this report from TVJ's Giovanni Dennis. The controversial bill was passed last Wednesday in the House of Representatives with 18 amendments. The bill also received bipartisan support after weeks of public quarreling. In its current form, social intervention will be a necessary component of the crime-fighting strategy. The Prime Minister has indicated that the church and faith-based groups will be targeted. He explains that while it's not exactly divine intervention, it's an intervention that the government can't do without. The government will be engaging faith-based initiatives in the fight against crime, that we want to partner with the churches in meaningful ways to help with parenting, to help with early childhood education, to help with youth engagement, to help with uh, um, family planning, and uh, help with dealing with the poor and dispossessed, um, government can't do it alone. Mr. Holness has not shared the details on the extent of their involvement. However, he explains why the government believes the church has the ability to do what the government is unable to do. We will be looking at creative ways of delivering these kinds of social intervention services, counseling and the like in the areas of special operations. And I believe that the strategy that we are putting in place will have an effect on the crime rate. It will bring down the murder rate in particular. It is not the only strategy we are employing, but it is one tool in the toolkit. Giovanni Dennis, TVJ News.